Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about um, the count string method. Uh, the count string method gives us a the ability to count the occurrences in a string object. So let's take a look. First we're going to create a string. We'll do a is equal to this is our string. Alright. Um, then we want to do we're going to call a string object. Then we're going to call the count string uh, method on our object and we're just going to say uh, let's say s so we want to see how many times s happen, uh, shows up in the string when we hit return we're going to get an integer and it's going to return how many times it shows up so we hit return and we have three occurrences in this string object we have one, two, and three now let's take a look at them all let's try let's see what happens when we don't have an occurrence We'll do uh, z return zero, all right? Because there's no z's in this. Um, now, this argument right here is required when using the count string method, all right? But there's also two other um, arguments that are optional, and these are the starting index location and the ending index location. So let's take a look at one of them. Let's do a count. And let's do uh, S again, and we're going to do a starting point of 2 and an ending point of 10. So what we got here is this, we're starting at index spot 2, so let's count 0, 1, 2. So at I, it's starting, and let's count again, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And our string count method is going to end at u. Because remember, when we put an ending index, it always ends one before that. So we hit return, and we got two. We got two occurrences. This occurrence and this occurrence. All right. Um, now, we can always do, let's do a count. Let's change it up. We'll do i and we're going to just give it a starting um, index location so we'll do 2 again and close that out we got 3 so we got 0, 1, 2 so starting here with i 1, 2, 3 what happens here is it defaults to the end of the string since we didn't give it an ending index spot so it just defaults to the end of the string now what happens if we want to give it an ending location but not a starting location? Well, if we do it this way, we'll get an error. Say you don't want to give the starting location, so you leave it blank, and then we get 10, we're going to get an index error. Or a invalid syntax error, not index error. Um, because we have to provide a starting point. So to do this, we'll do a count, and since we really don't have a starting index location, we want it to start at the beginning of the string, we'll do 0, and then we'll do 10, hit return, we get 2. Alright, so remember we said it stops at u, we go 1, 2, and it stops here so we don't get the slash i in the string. So that is count with in um, uh, oh, oh, there's another thing I want to show you. Let's do um, a is equal to a count. I will use the same one that we used before. So this needs to be a string. We'll do zero, do ten, hit return, call a. We get two. So basically, we just took away a from our string object up here, which we haven't looked at before. But basically, what we did was now a is representing the integer of 2, it's no longer representing our string object up here. So if you have any questions, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythonnetutorial.com. Don't forget to like the video, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.